So hey guys, welcome to another C Sharp series today, and this is going to be another bonus video talking about C Sharp operators and if statements and how to use all of these within code. And there's an absolute massive amount of operators that can help you do different functionality within Unity. These can be used in if statements or just your normal everyday statements that you decide to write within your code. Now these can be addition, multiplication, subtraction. These can be greater than, less than, equal to. These can be including something with an and or it can be or something else so I'll go through the most common ones but you can check out the Microsoft page on all the C sharp operators and there's a absolute massive page of lots of different ones that you can use but like I said the most common ones that you will use are the multiple operators with times division and with a percentage sign additive operators which are plus and minus, the rational and test typing operators which are less than or greater than or less than or equal to or greater than or equal to and the equality operators which are if something's equal to something else it'll be w equals or an exclamation mark and equals which will be not equal to or the common one as I've discussed before is the use of and and or the ampersand twice which will be one thing and then as long as it includes something else and the other conditional like I said is the two uh, solid lines means that it could be this or that and then our statement can be true I've written this in the update method just for the sake of seeing this being used and we've got three different types of if statement if else if and else and usually you always start with an if statement so you're checking a statement and saying if health is greater than or so this is a common operator greater than or equal to one so at any point if health is greater than or equal to one then we'll output you are alive we can use else if if it's connected to the first statement that we had so in this case health is greater than or equal to one this time we're saying else if health is less than or equal to one you can use a separate if statement again here but if it's um, in reference to the original thing that we'd written, we can use else if to make it slightly more refined. And if health is less than or equal to one, then debug will debug output you are dead because that might be when we lose all our health. Then if we have something like else, it'll say if this conditional isn't met, this conditional isn't met, just do whatever we have here. So it just makes it a nice way where you don't have to check every different condition you can just say if it isn't the conditions which I need to specify then you can do something else and you can just and I just said that we can output that you are superhuman then I have a couple of different examples that if stamina is greater than or equal to one and health is greater than or equal to one and then we'll output this information and then the different one that I mentioned if stamina is greater than or equal to one or health is greater than or equal to one then we can do that statement so really um, it just depends what functionality you're looking to do because with any conditional statement or with any operator that you use usually connecting things together whether you're adding something together taking something away checking if something is the same as something else or choosing to decide if it's not like something else and then we output our reasoning for it so really it depends what you're trying to do but this was just a very brief overview of looking at the basics types of if statements and then using operators within those so obviously i'll put the link in the description for the c sharp microsoft page and you can take a look at that and in the series as we go on we will continue to use all of these things so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers